Tonight, we take a closer look at how the virus is devastating one particular group, Vietnam veterans. And we'll do this by looking back at our cover story. WGN's Jackie Bang updates a story she first told you about in 2018. It's a sign of the times, drive through only at this Dunkin' Donut shop in Morton Grove. But before the pandemic, this was an important gathering spot for a unique group of military veterans. We first met these Vietnam vets two years ago as part of a story about the donut dollies, young women who, through the Red Cross, traveled to the war's front lines to support the troops. Now, we focus on their group. I've known Rick since he was seven. The Tuesday morning Dunkin' Donut vets grew from just three people in 2013 to 80. Once a week, they'd enjoy coffee, donuts, and each other's company. Camaraderie and being able to tell their story to another veteran, to being able to share information with uh, other veterans, and, and just, just being together as Vietnam veterans. The coffee club is now canceled. Even worse, three members have died, all to COVID-19. 73-year-old Mike Mika passed away in mid-March at Northwestern Memorial Hospital. Mika served the Army as a transportation specialist in Vietnam. That's Bob Brisky, the day we visited the group in May 2018. Just last month, the 70-year-old Marine lost his battle with COVID-19. He was probably the most giving person I've ever met. He literally would give you the shirt off of his back. Every year, Bob would spend his birthday at Arlington National Cemetery to lay a wreath of remembrance, unselfish devotion to fellow warriors, even as he suffered from PTSD. That was the thing about him. He treated his own PTSD by helping others with theirs. That's how giving he was. 78-year-old Wally Blaze passed away April 29th. He spent his entire life in service as an Army MP in Saigon and for 45 years as a firefighter. He was just a giver. He was a very gentle man. He, he, um, he worked very hard. Fellow first responders from Niles attended Blaze's funeral May 2nd. That was not an option for most of his war buddies. The reason it was so hard is that there was no closure for us to go to a wake and a funeral to show the family support. March 10th was the last time the vets met here. They've already experienced one war. Now, these men wait for this current war to end so they can return to their coffee, camaraderie, and donuts. Jackie Bang, WGN News. Jackie tells us another veteran and member of the coffee club has tested positive, but Robert Runtz is at home now recovering. He intends to donate plasma in honor of his lost friends.